Good, uh, good day everybody. So today um, Christina and I are going to film uh, making goulash, Hungarian goulash. So I've got the um, ingredients prepared and we're going to show you what's going into it and then we'll come back and uh, continue videoing. See you in a minute. Okay, so these are the ingredients that we have for the uh, Hungarian goulash. This is beef. We've already had this cooked and prepared. It was frozen. So we figure it would be a good idea to have for a dinner. We're going to put it in that bowl. We've got two onions, a can of uh, tomato paste, some paprika, and salt and pepper. And the ingredients call for oil, onions, paprika, salt, pepper, stew meat, or any cut of meat, a can of tomato paste, and a teaspoon of garlic. So this is what we're going to do. And when we get ready to get this going on the stove, We'll be back to uh, show you what's uh, happening. All right, see you in a bit. And there's Chewy waiting for a handout, but he's not going to get one. This is the pot we're going to use, and this is the oil we're going to use instead of the vegetable oil. And um, we're going to get this going here in a little bit, and then I'll be back to show you how, what's going on. Chop up the onions so they're ready to go, too. And I like them chunked instead of sliced, so... That's just my preference. And we also have some beef broth that we're going to add to it. Okay. We yes. just added the onions to the big pot. And we're going to let them simmer for a little while. And uh, we'll continue with this. Okay, recipe. so we stirred in the paprika, the garlic, put the onions and the beef in. And now we're just going to let it simmer for the afternoon. And then... We are going to cook up these egg noodles. We put already put the paprika in, salt and pepper, and we'll cook up the egg noodles. And then when we get ready to do that, we'll be back. So this is what it looks like here. Nice and brown and rich. And then this is the salad that's going to be with it, going with it. And we're going to cook up those noodles. And then got some iced tea here, and that's it. In addition to our goulash here, we also have sweet potatoes here, and we have roast broccoli right there. So here's there. what the table looks like: goulash, sweet potatoes, no, some, like, salad, <laughs> goulash some chicken, the noodles, and Julia's uh, chicken nuggets. And then over here, we have some broccoli. And then in a few minutes, I'll get some, uh, I'll recap and give you the reaction. Okay, so now I'm getting a reaction from the family about the goulash. John? Very tasty. Tim? Mmm, mmm. He would have rather have mashed potatoes. Potatoes! Christina? I like it. Josiah? <laughs> oh my god. Okay everybody, that is a wrap on our cooking video for today. Hungarian goulash from scratch, pretty much, because the meat was already cooked, but we're going to do it again and do a bigger batch this time because there are some big eaters in this house. And so um, I didn't eat. I just had a little tiny taste and it was really, really good. So um, if anybody, I'll put the recipe down below and um, you can uh, make it for yourself if you'd like. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh more videos coming up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that little button and uh, ring the bell and uh, be kind to one another. It is a rough world out there. I love you all. Have a good rest of your week. Bye-bye now.